Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sachin and you're watching the Tech Talks. So in today's video, we're going to look at how we can create an attractive looking Gmail signature. So this is going to be a very quick video. So make sure you watch it till the end in order to create an attractive looking Gmail signature. Now, whenever you compose an email to your client or to your subordinates, it's always good to have a good signature in order to create a good impression in front of those guys. So here am I and I'm going to teach you how to create a good signature. So many of you all might be knowing how to create a signature in Gmail, but very few of you all might be having the idea of how to create a signature which is similar to this on your screen right now. So I'll be teaching you guys in this video how to create a signature to something similar like this. So without any further ado, let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is to get into your Gmail account and on the right hand side you can see this gear icon. So just click on it and select the settings option. Now once you are inside the settings screen, you can see that there are multiple tabs on the top right from general, labels, inbox, all the way up to themes. Now we need to stay on the very first tab that is the general tab. Now inside that scroll down to the signature section. Over here you can see that there are two options. The first one is no signature and the second one is a custom signature that we'll be creating right now. So in order to create a good signature we need to go inside the Google Docs and select a blank template. Now once you're inside the blank template you can see on the top that there are a few options available. So from that we need to select the insert option and click on table. Over here we can grab 2 cross 2 matrix table. So we will be having two columns and two rows. Now inside the first row and the first column that is this cell over here will be having our logo. So make sure you grab your logo from your computer or from your internet. So I'm already having my logo. I'll just resize it to look something a bit smaller. Also we'll reduce the width of the first section. Yeah. So now the next thing we need to do is to put up our name followed by our designation. We'll be styling it after we put up all the content inside this. Next we'll be having the name of our company. Next you can put up your mobile number. It's obviously that this is not my mobile number. Also you can put up your telephone number if you're having it. You can also put up your website. And your email ID. After that you can put up a few social media icons. So I've already grabbed a few of them. If you want, I'll put this icons as a zip file in the description below so you can also download it. So I'll be putting up four icons. The first one being Facebook, then Google Plus, then LinkedIn, and the last one is YouTube. So let us just have a bit space between these two icons over here. Yeah. So now the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be setting up the font styles for all this text over here. Make it bold. Increase the font size to 18. You can make the same for this one also, but we'll be changing the color to something grayish. Also, we'll be changing the color of our name to blue. So we'll go ahead with this blue over here. Yeah. And as for the designation, we'll reduce the font size to 14. Yeah. Now the next thing is your company name. So you can change it to bold. Increase the font size to 14. And also change the font color to red. Now instead of putting up this text over here for mobile, website, telephone number and email, you can also grab some icons and put them over here. Let's change the color and also the font, weight, the board. Let us apply some color to them. We can go ahead with the same blue color that we had applied. Sorry. We can go ahead with this blue color. 
if you want you can just get rid of this underlines over here yeah so that's it but now we are having this borders over here now how we can get rid of this borders so for that you can press the shift button on your keyboard and keep on selecting this borders yeah now once these borders have been selected go to your border color option and click white so now the borders have been turned up white for all of them except this one so if you want you can also turn this border color to white but i'll change it to reddish that looks a bit better so now once this is done you can just press ctrl a or select all on your keyboard copy it go back once again to your settings inside the signature just press ctrl v or paste it over here inside the signature section now once this is done you can select these icons and attach a hyperlink to them for example whenever i click on this it should go to facebook.com slash the tech talks channel and click ok you can do the same for each and every one over here so i wouldn't be wasting much time in showing you those things now once this is done go below click on the checkbox so that this hyphen mark doesn't get appended inside our email now once that is done you can click on save changes and you're all ready to have an attractive gmail signature inside your compose mail now let's try it in action click on the compose mail option and there you go you're having this signature right over here so you can put up anything now and send across to your friends or your colleagues so that was it for this video i hope you found this video useful if yes then please hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new to this channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one